Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is about solar thermal systems. So our first system is solar pumping system. So in this video, we will study in detail about solar pumping system, types of solar pumps, advantages and disadvantages of solar pumping system. Solar pumping system, also known as solar water pumping system. Solar water pump is driven by the electricity produced by the photovoltaic panels or the radiant heat generated by collected sunlight. This is the opposite of diesel or grid electricity water pump. The solar pump utilize in place where grid power is not available and subsequently energy sources especially wind power cannot provide enough power. Solar water pump can deliver water where power lines can't be reached. That is, these are commonly found in aeration, pond filtration, aquarium filtration and well pump. These type of pumps mainly used in the area where electricity issues. Otherwise, you will not have a stable power supply. So, this is an ideal water withdrawal system for green energy that combines the advantages of reliability, economy and environmental protection. This is the constructional view of solar pumping system. It consists of a solar panel. Solar panels are the key parts of the solar pumping system. The group of solar panels is called as photovoltaic array that is PV array. Solar panels generate electric energy by separating electrons from atom by permitting protons and light array which creates the electricity which we learned in the previous videos. So this is the main part of the solar pumping system. Next is AC to DC converter. This converts DC current coming from the solar panel into AC current. Batteries. The basic function of batteries is to store the current. So it stores this charge produced by the sunlight in presence of sunlight energy produced by solar panels supplied to a load and a batteries. It ensures system is working in sunlight or not. Motor or power controller. It adjusts the system parameter to meet user needs and shield the pumping system. Pump. A water pump is an important part of this system. This pump has various types such as sump pump, booster pump, circulating pump and submergible pump. We will see these all types of pump in further videos. And then towards a storage tank to store the water. Coming to the working of solar pumping system, it works on basic photovoltaic principle. When solar energy falls on the solar panel, it get converted into electrical energy in form of DC current. Now, this DC current can either drive a DC motor directly coupled with a pump or if the motor is AC motor, then this DC current is first converted into AC current. This conversion is done through the inverter or a AC-DC converter. After convert, so this uh, inverter or converter converts the DC current into AC current. After converting into AC current, this current is used to drive the motor coupled to the pump. The coupled pump will lift the water from low to high towards the storage tank. Now, it may be noted that solar power is only available during the daytime with a clean sky. 
therefore if we need irrigation or power at night time we have to have a storage device that could be either batteries or a pump storage arrangement it is used to store the starch produced by the sunlight in presence of sunlight energy produced by the solar panels to supply to a load it ensure system is working in sunlight or not types of solar pump solar pumps have many different types but the most major types are submersible solar pump surface solar pump dc solar pump and ac solar pump let's see all the four types of solar pumps in detail submersible solar pump as the name suggests submersible the pump is submerged in the water when the sun is shining the solar panels convert uh, generates the electricity this electricity is passed through the pump controller and the pump pumps the water during the entire day and the water is stored in tank to be used when needed the water can't be pumped in bad weather because the sun can't shine in bad weather therefore it is advisable to store water only in good climatic conditions the submersible solar pump lifts up to 650 feet of water and can installed in large wells as long as the well water is more than 20 feet above the surface this pump operate directly to turn off the batteries solar panels and in some cases electricity these solar pumps uses in deep water and undrilled area the pump also uses in irrigation pressurization and well pumping the maximum recommended pump depth is 50 meter second pump is surface solar pump this type of pumps used in stream storage tank shallow wells or ponds when the well water supply depth is 20 feet or less from the ground we use this type of pump in general this pump cannot pump very high water from deep well and also can pump water up to 200 feet or more this pump can easily lift water from depth of 20 meters next pumps are dc solar pump and ac solar pump in dc solar pump the pump has electric motor that uses direct current therefore no battery or inverter is required in this pump only the pump controller is attached after the solar panel and between the pump in ac solar pump the electric motor is used in this type of pump works as the alternating current with the help of inverter the direct current produced by the switch board is converted into alternating current this conversion can lead to power outage during the production and use advantages of solar pumps economical to operate the cost of photovoltaic panel has dropped significantly bringing down the initial setup cost from year ago operating expenses are lower than other systems because the sun rather than fuel provides the energy the long term saving of the fuel cost overshadows the initial investment needed to set up the solar powered water plant therefore it is economical to operate eco friendly sunshine is renewable energy renewable energy comes from the source that nature will replace some contend that solar energy is not renewable because of greenhouse gas 
emitted during the solar panel manufacturing processes. While that does happen, there is no emission of toxics after that during the solar energy production. For that reason, solar powered water pump are considered as a clean energy source. Useful in remote areas. Since the sun provides the energy, an external power source isn't necessary, which means a solar power water pump will work in remote places and areas without access to a power grid. Easy to maintain. Solar powered water pump have very few mechanical parts which lessens the chances of components needing repair. They can last for many years without repairing maintenance. Easy to install. Engineers aren't required to assemble or install solar powered water pumps. They have few components and can be installed easily by the local people. Increasing productivity. Water collection for those in the developing countries can require walking for several hours in each direction. Solar powered water pump save time from not having to collect water, improving health and making time for other productive activities. Also, farmer can produce more food when they aren't depend on rainfall or electricity. Reliable Solar powered water pump provide a reliable water source because it doesn't require electricity. Disadvantages of solar pump These pumps can only be utilized as long as solar energy is available. However, by storing the electrical energy, we can run the pump on stored energy during the night when solar energy is not available. The impact of weather affects performance adversely. Solar panel have to be cleaned and maintained regularly in order to get the optimum output. The initial or upfront cost of these pumps may be high. Over a period of time, the efficiency of solar pump or panels reduces. Application of solar pump. These pumps used to supply water for animals. They use for irrigation system. They also used to supply water for drinking and cooking purpose. These pumps may also utilize as booster pumps for pumping fluids over long distance. Solar pumps used for water treatment applications. These also used for extraction of oil and gases. 